Rewind, where we celebrate all the films that are celebrating their 10th and their 20th anniversaries, brought to you by our good friends at AMC Theaters. And this is a great week for celebrating the 10th and 20th anniversaries. We've got some great films on this. First of all, turning 10 years old this week, I can't believe this. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Not the first, not the second, not the third, but as Sinead reminded me, the fourth film in the Harry Potter franchise mm -hmm. turns 10 years old this week. Feel old yet? <laughs> I do. Also opening 10 years ago this week is the great Johnny Cash biopic, Walk the Line, that garnered a couple of Academy Awards. Yeah. Turning 20 years old this week, uh, just a comedy I think is really underrated, really unappreciated, is the Michael Douglas, uh, Annette Benning comedy, The American President. I thought that was good. One of the greatest video games, I'm sorry, this was a movie, GoldenEye. <laughs> also insane. one of the greatest video games ever made, GoldenEye. Definitely. And on the not-so-classic, uh, the Twins movie, It Takes Two. So, Schnepp, let's start with you. Which of these, there's some great ones on here, which of these movies stand out to you the most? Well, definitely for the 20 years old one, GoldenEye. Now, that was, I think, the best Pierce Brosnan, James Bond. It's funny, I got into a big Bond discussion with a couple of people yesterday about Spectre and where that falls, and then we just started going through all the different Bonds and which which was their best, which was their worst. And for me, Goldeneye was one of the best, especially for Pierce Brosnan. I, th I think that's the one that had Vom K. Johnson in it, right? It's mm -hmm. the five crushing oh, yeah, uh, right. femme fatale. Um, really fun and definitely an incredible video game as well. So, yeah, Goldeneye for me, the 20 year old one. And then for the 10 years old one, um, Walk the Line really sticks out. Johnny Cash was an incredible performer. I got the chance to see him in concert. He's just wow. lo I love his, I've got a lot of his albums. I love his last, his last cover series that he did where he, you know, covered Soundgarden and stuff like that. It was <laughs> fantastic to hear like that guy sing his songs that you've heard from other people. So, uh, Walk the Line, Joaquin Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon just completely crushed it as far as like being able to take those characters and bring this... Uh, Reese won the Academy Award, did she not? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. she did. Um, so it's a fantastic film. I would highly recommend it if you guys haven't seen it. It's only 10 years old, so you should definitely see it. <laughs> Mark, which one stand out to you? I mean, it's so cute. So you got Christy Alley, right? And then you have Steve <laughs> Gutenberg. And I don't know if it's going to work out, but they have twins, and they hook them up together. God, it was a horrible movie to watch on a plane one time, which I did. Uh, GoldenEye's one that stands out for me. It was the first Bond movie I ever saw in theaters. I had friends who were really into Bond, and I just didn't... I don't know if I'd ever seen a James Bond movie, period, up to that point. Going to the theater and just seeing Pierce Brosnan on the big screen, he just encompassed everything that was James Bond before those movies got really silly with him in it, towards the latter ones. Him and Sean Bean going back and forth, right. great in that oh, movie. Oh, Sean Bean is so good in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. And the American president, if you haven't seen it, don't worry, it's going to be on TBS or TNT in the next three hours. It's always on TV. <laughs> now, spoiler alert, Sean Bean dies in the film. Whoa, he, he always dies. Yeah, the like, American president? Yeah, just yeah. about any film. And it takes in, really. two, the Olsen twins get him. <laughs> now, the one, I, I, I I got to draw attention to it again, is, is The American President. This is a film I know a lot of you guys haven't seen yet, and it is a really nice film. Richard Dreyfuss kind of plays the evil politician bad guy who wants to take Michael Douglas's job as the President of the United States. As an interesting little note, Charlie Sheen, who is probably the most famous on-screen president Martin ever. Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen. Keep saying Charlie you Sheen, don't You gotta get Charlie I? off the brain, I man. gotta get Charlie off the brain. Although, Charlie did play the president in a movie once. Machete you, kid. That's right, as Mark pointed yeah. out to us earlier today. So you get Sheen's <laughs> playing, they're playing presidents all over the place. Anyway, Martin Sheen, of course, the most famous on-screen president of all time, playing President Bartlett in The West Wing for many, many seasons. Um, he actually is in this movie as well, and he plays the chief of staff this time, so he's right in the White House exactly where you want to be. Did he not also, wait a minute, did he not also play the president in um, uh, the comic book movie, uh, what's what, the one by McFarlane? Martin Sheen Spawn. did play the Spawn. president. Yes, yeah, he, played, Spawn. he play, play, also played the president Spawn. There you go. Wow. Um, so anyway, this is a really fun comedy. Check it out if you get the chance. And you know, obviously, Walk the Line is an award-winning thing. It's a, some of the most powerful performances. One Two Punch with Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon going at it all at once. Check that out. So, yeah, great, great week. Sinead had a, a little info about the Goblet of Fire. What was that you were talking about earlier? I can't. It's a spoiler alert. It's, te oh, it's 10 years old, It's 10 though. years old now. Well, yeah. I thought that we were serious, because I was going to say that's the one that Robert Pattinson dies in. Oh, yes, yes that's right. right. Twilight's just, Robert Pattinson dies in. I just like hearing in. that. I, just, I don't know why. Cedric. <laughs> just like playing Cedric. <laughs> playing Cedric the Entertainer. Right. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.